In today's video, we have some really big news that we wanna share with you. So today is my first day in Nashville. Honestly, I, I've never even been to Nashville before. I told my friend when I was, uh, when I called him and or told him where I was at, I'm like, I think the 17 year old version of me would have passed out by now. Being in that environment just completely changes your mindset on how people make music. It's, it's part of my life so much and I'm so glad that I got this opportunity to make it part of my life. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we have some really big news that we wanna share with you. We actually mentioned that we had some great news to share with you guys in our last video, but we never told you what it was. So that is what we're doing today. And that news that we wanna share with you guys is that Kenya was able to be signed with a country record label. And she's actually um, just went to Nashville to record her first single. This is a single that she has written um, and then her producer and the record label in Nashville helped co-write. So after she came to them with the idea, they helped her polish it. Mm -hmm. And we went there for a week and she recorded her first single along with a music video to go with it. So today's video is going to be sharing some of the behind the scenes from that trip. And we are very proud of Kenya. Um, for those of you that have been following our channel, you probably very well know that Kenya loves music. She loves to sing. It is a big passion of hers. So this has been a dream come true for her. Her dad and I are very proud of her. Her brother is too. And we hope you enjoy kind of seeing what happened in Nashville. You're not gonna get to see everything, but we've got some more news about when the single is gonna be released and how to follow this, the rest of this story. So stay tuned after this uh, behind the scene look of what happened while Kenya was in Nashville for all of that update. are in Nashville, Tennessee. We flew here last night and we are here for Kenya to record her first single. Kenya has been working the past few months with her record label, writing a whole bunch of songs. Today they get to choose her favorite one with her producer and co-writer. And at this point, all this week, we are gonna be in studio. She's gonna be recording that single. Towards the end of the week, they get to shoot a music video and Kenya is gonna record her first song. So we are really excited. Um, we are happy to take you guys along on this journey. We're just excited to see Kenya chasing her dreams, helping her at this point in her life to knock on those doors, see if those doors open, and really just go after a passion of hers. So today is my first day in Nashville. Honestly, I, I've never even been to Nashville before. So yesterday when we got in, it was great to see all the sights. But today I'm going to I'm gonna work really hard and we're gonna choose a song. I'm gonna sing through all the ones I've written, which is around 10 or 11. We can only choose one though, because it's just a single. But I'm gonna sing through all the ones I've written, meet my producer face to face, that'll be really nice. And then um, we'll go from there. But this is a really fun experience and I'm really looking forward to learning about uh, how how this all works, the process, and uh, what it really takes to make a song. So it'll be exciting to just sort of see. I think Kenya's biggest supporter came along with us too. Are you excited to be on this journey? 
I am really excited. It's so nice to see Kenya going through this process, and I'm really happy for her. What do you think of Tennessee so far? It's cool. I mean, I thought it'd be a little bit warmer, but it's a little bit chilly. All right, we are on day two. Actually, we just finished day two and the, in, in the studio, and it has been amazing so far. I think I am shocked uh, at how much work can be done in such a short amount of time in the studio. I always thought of it as a very long, drawn-out process. And although there's tedious work, like the fact that we are as far along as we are right now with um, Kenya's song is just amazing to me and uh yeah i'm blown away totally blown away it's 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 really incredible and it's turning out to be a fantastic song so soon very soon it will be something that we can share with everybody but uh well not too soon it's going to take a little bit of time um after studio time to kind of get it all mastered and polished up but uh wow what an amazing process and the studio we are in it's kind of like um it's kind of, for me it's kind of like i'm walking back in time a little bit because um for anybody who grew up in the 90s listening to country or sorry <laughs> country listening to christian rock music like myself um i grew up listening to the big bands of that time dc talk audio adrenaline newsboys yeah it's kind of like being in uh in heaven at that point because we are in actually recording in michael tate's studio in the basement of his house so uh if you don't know who that is michael tate is the uh the obviously one of the singers of dc talk the founders of dc talk and he's also the lead singer of the newsboys a very well-known uh, Christian band and that they're still going strong today. They've had they've had uh, many years of success He's a multi-platinum record <laughs> uh, Grammy award-winning recording artist and uh, Yeah, and so we're actually hanging out at his house um, This week in his living room not right now. Actually, this is the Airbnb But we just got home from the studio and uh, hanging out in his house and in his recording studio Kenya's producer is Ben Calhoun, and Ben Calhoun is the lead singer and founder of Citizen Way, another huge Christian band uh, that's been very successful over the last uh, several years. In fact, they toured uh, with Newsboys, and that's how uh, Ben and Michael Tate became friends, got to know each other, and built a studio together. So uh, this studio that we have been spending time in, where Kenya's recording, is... Um, is Ben and Michael's studio, and it's been really a privilege to be in that space. I walk around like the living room area and you know see all the uh, platinum and gold records on the wall and uh, autograph covers of my favorite albums from when I was growing up, the albums I listened to the most. 
uh, are li- like everywhere. Uh, there's like autographed guitars and photo albums, and I'm. It's just like, it's basically a, a little like mini museum for all the things that I was into when I was a teenager. So. You're an obsessed fan. She says I'm an obsessed fan, and she's not wrong. <laughs> uh, I told I told my friend when I was uh, when I called him and or told him where I was at. I'm like, I think the 17 year old version of me would have passed out by now. So, um, anyway, so really a privilege to be in this space, and uh, a wild like full circle moment that my daughter recording an album is what got me into uh, Michael Tate's recording studio, which is really just hard to imagine so I never would have predicted that in life um, but for those of you who've never really heard of DC talk or newsboys this is like means nothing to you but uh, most of you who grew up listening to Christian music in the 90s you're like you're into this conversation right now so uh, you can relate to me and uh, Jill didn't listen to this kind of music when she was a teenager so she can't relate to me and my daughter was not even born so she has no idea but she does actually understand like how big of a deal this is so it's been quite a wild ride this week and I don't know let's hear from Kenya all right honey country recording artist now you can officially be called a country music recording artist because you've recorded country music <laughs> that's <Yeah>. crazy <laughs> i i don't even know what to say it's been quite a week yeah it's been a crazy week um it's only tuesday yeah usually i'm only listening to music like this not recording it so uh it's it's great to fulfill this dream of mine though i love to sing and i love country music you can ask them i blast it on my stereo all the time at home so what do you think of your song so far my song I think it's personally a really fun song to sing and just to listen to. It's catchy. It's upbeat. It's um, it's encouraging. That's that's for sure. This song, though, along with all the other songs we considered doing, I wrote by myself. Well, obviously with the help, like of some. No, oh, I didn't help you write this. No, one. well, no, this one was all me. It it was one that came to very quick me very quickly i probably wrote the whole song within an hour two hours and so, now you have a co-writer on the song as well yes ben calhoun he is my co-writer and he uh sort he's of your helped. producer as well yeah mm-hmm. he, he's my producer co-writer he uh we're filling in the gaps a little bit and we're recording and man it's it's kind of crazy that we're already here yeah. i feel like i just started to submit these songs to ben and i'm just you know, hey, it's me. I'm sort of interested in recording some songs. Would you be interested in, you know? Yeah. I think it's really cool probably for you to hear your song come to life because it's, you've had it in your head. Yes, and, and I, I have this like thought, it's a heavy drum song. It's gotta have some really great guitar riffs here and there, but then no one else can hear that inside my head. He heard it and he brought it to life. And I was yeah. just like, someone who understands me. That's what a good producer does. Yes, yeah. yes. I know I'm really biased, but when I hear the song, like I just want to jam to the song. It is <laughs> such a good song. So it's really fun to yep. just sort of jump up and down to to dance to. Yep, cool. So the rest of the week, what do you have left on tap for this week? Okay. What, do you, what do you have in store? So finish recording background vocals, which I'm doing, and then uh, finish recording main vocals. You have some really nice background vocalists, by the way. No, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I Not picked me, them out. Way. I picked them out myself. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I have to record main vocals and a music video. That'll be coming with Shooting the song. a music video on Friday. Ooh, <laughs> that'll be really fun. I'm excited for that. And then doing a photo shoot for the cover of my album. Pretty amazing um, to be this far already, but a huge week in store as we move forward, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yes, it is. Cool. All right. Well, you better get some rest. Yeah, I'm Maybe. tired. It's been a long day. I took the camera from Luke. <laughs> um, you've heard from Luke. You've heard from Kenya. And I've got a few things. And I will tell you, my voice might sound a little crackly right now. I had a cold last week. And I don't know. It seems to have turned into probably a sinus infection. So. Not fun. It's okay, though, because we're having fun. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. It has been a good week for me as well. I have been helping uh, with hair, with a she little did this. bit. She did this. That's right. A Look little bit of art. <laughs> a little bit of makeup. 
and our good friend Amy helped Kenya with her wardrobe before we came so Kenya has outfits for each day so um, big thank you to them because I am not always so great in the wardrobe department so my job has kind of been that way but also sitting in the studio just seeing what's going on making sure Luke doesn't tackle Michael Tate if he comes down the <laughs> stairs to leave out of his garage um, <laughs> I'm just really worried when that interaction happens. What? <laughs> Dad's fanboy 17 year old self is coming to life. So make sure Luke keeps his cool if Michael Tate. <laughs> Michael Tate comes downstairs and he doesn't turn into this obsessed teen fan. Talking 90 miles an hour. And everything. So yeah. um, making sure Kenya doesn't steal Michael Tate's dog. Um, <laughs> And then just going in and talking with Ben, it's been a really fun watching Kenya work and hear Ben's feedback. Um, and just being able to work with these, this really great group of people and to see how talented Ben really is. Mm -hmm. It's only Tuesday night, guys. We still have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to go, but we are so proud of this one. And the other one that I've got to hang out with is Kenya's brother Lincoln he has been so supportive he's been in the studio Ben will say go get me that guitar or he he's, he's been, been heavy lifter he yeah up the big mic Ben needs some mics moved around and he's involved Lincoln so it's been fun having Lincoln involved in this and he's been so supportive so we're so happy and proud for him too Lincoln's the best brother ever so it's really been a group effort but this is what it is at this age, helping them find their dreams, push on those doors, um, and just see if it opens up. So this journey has been a great one so far, and we can't wait to see what else is to come. All right, we are on day five of this trip to Nashville um, and Kenya's recording, and it has gone absolutely amazing. This has been such a great learning experience for her, um, but just all the way around, just a great experience. It's been so great to work with Ben. Um, we're just so thankful for Michael Tate for letting us use the stu studio. Everyone on the team has just been amazing and so hospitable. Um, it's definitely something that we're gonna walk away from and just really appreciate the, the friendships that we've made, but also just how great the team has been that has been working with Kenya through this whole process. Um, for today, day five, uh, and I apologize guys, my voice is still a bit croaky, um, but I, I'm getting through it and um, I am feeling a little better today, so that's good. But today is actually the day where they do the photo shoot for her cover of her um, single, and then they're gonna do a shoot for a music video. We're going pretty simple this time around with this being Kenya's first single that she's going to release. So um, very bare minimum on crew and stuff like that, but I'm excited to see this process happen today. Kenya is super excited. She's actually inside right now doing um, hair and makeup before we do the shoot. But we wanna kinda let you guys see a little bit of behind the scenes on this, and we're excited to see this all come together. Kenya heard the final version of the song that her and Ben have put together last night and it's just so exciting. So now the next process is, you guys might be thinking, great, we get to hear the single right now. That's not how this process works. They are gonna be, um, they've been in studio all week, and at this point in time, after they get the track laid down, it has to be sent to go um, run through a master. So we're gonna be doing the master, um, and that takes a little while. So it looks like Kenya's song is gonna get released in January, um, and we'll keep you guys updated on how things are doing and when that song gets released. <laughs>
right, everyone, it has been an amazing week. This week with Kenya being in studio um, with Ben and his record label, General Records. And it just seems like we have a perfect ending to a perfect week. And we were invited to Ben to come out to West Haven, which is a town outside of Nashville. It's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And he asked if Kenya could help sing the national anthem at the Wounded Warrior Project going on here. So that is where we're at this morning. We actually have Robert Bacon here. He's with the Thrive Label Group as well. If you guys want information on all this stuff, we'll make sure and put links in the description box below. So check those out. But um, we are excited to be part of this event. Kenya's really excited to be singing this morning. And then it is off to the airport and flying back home. This has been such a big adventure. We are excited that we were able to experience this as a family. Lincoln has enjoyed it. Um, it's been a little bit quieter for him, but he has really enjoyed watching his sister work. He's been such a great support. And we can't wait to get home and get him working on his truck, which is what he's really looking forward to. We are still trying to process everything in a good way of what's happened. We're so excited for Kenya's release. Not happening until January, but we will make sure you guys keep caught up on that. But we want to show you a little bit about the Wounded Warrior um, Project and have Kenya sing. Hi! You ready? Yep. We are actually back in um, towards uh, Nashville, getting ready to go to the airport. But we had to stop at one place. Honey, don't eat the berries on the tree. I want to eat the blueberries. <laughs> um, we had to stop at one place because one of the nights that we finished re at the recording studio, we found this. It was really close to our Airbnb, and it's called Fries Cream. It's fries and ice cream. So Luke was not with us because he had to go to Chicago in the middle of the week. We wanted to take him here and bring you guys along to see this great um, place that we found. And it's brilliant because what's better than fries and ice cream? You didn't... Blueberries off a tree. Okay. I got the, I don't even remember what I got. It was like <laughs> some savory fry option. Oh, bourbon and pecan, I think. Um, fry, seasoned fries with the vanilla soft serve and pecan pie filling in the soft serve. It's really good, it's really amazing. All goes together really nice. It's like sweet and savory all together. All right, here I have swirl. Chocolate vanilla swirl with um, apple pie in the bottom of it. And I have truffle uh, parmesan fries. And it's so good. It's a lot going on there, Lincoln. So good. I got truffle, uh, I got truffle and parmesan fries with pecan filling, or uh, pecan pie filling and vanilla ice cream. So good. So we hope you guys enjoyed seeing our time in Nashville. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Can you kind of share with them your thoughts on the experience in Nashville, how, you, how it made you feel, how it was for you? Yeah, um, my experience in Nashville was incredible, indescribable. I, I love to make music and working with my producer, being in that environment just completely changes your mindset on how people make music and it's contagious. And now I, I can't stop thinking about the next song I wanna write, um, playing the chords on my guitar, keep practicing and keep going at it. I just, I love to make music and it's, it's part of my life so much and I'm so glad that I got this opportunity to make it part of my life. I'm glad. Yeah. So you guys are probably wondering what's next. Well, 
The other news is that now that the song has been recorded, we are waiting to get the master back. And once that comes in, we set a release date. So we will keep you guys updated. But you can also follow Kenya's story on her very own YouTube channel. She's going to be posting videos um, about updates, but also more uh, a more in-depth look and feeling about what she experienced in Nashville, along with what it takes to become a singer-songwriter and kind of just sharing that whole experience with all of you. So I encourage you to go over to Kenya's YouTube channel. We'll put the link in the description below. And also she's going to be posting on TikTok, Instagram, all of that fun stuff. So please start following her story there. We will keep you guys updated here, but if you're wanting a more in-depth look, go see her channel. Yep. Um, and then once we get the release date, we will share that with you guys. And we're just so excited to watch her follow her dreams and just keep pushing on doors for something that she absolutely loves. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We can't wait to sh keep sharing this story with you. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.